issue of Mod Concepts Performance Video Makes. We're here at Kurt's Garage. I'll kind of show you what we're going to be doing this season and what kind of products we're going to be covering. The R1 we've had for a couple of seasons now. We've rode this from Denver to Tucson and back down Highway 191. Uh, we've ridden it to Birmingham, Alabama. We've recorded all those to you. We'll let them know what we're going to be this year. We've got a full set of Oxford luggage. We've got the saddlebags, the tailpack, the tank bag. Uh, so far, the stuff's worked out really, really well. Uh, we're really happy with the product. It uh, seems to be stable, and it's definitely sturdy. I think we've packed it to the gills, and it's held up. Uh, we've got a couple of, a couple of Shoei helmets. We've got the X11 from Shoei. It's their top of the line, full of ventilation. We've been wearing this now for about three, four months now. Really, really happy with this helmet. Great ventilation, real light on your head, real stable at high speeds. It's got the uh, little wing in the back here, little stabilizer. Keeps everything going just fine for you and gets you dialed in. The uh, RF-1000, Shoei's new offering. Uh, we've got the Duhamel replica here. Again, we've got the wing on the back for stabilization. It's the latest updated model from Shoei as far as new releases go. And we've ridden with this one maybe half the time that we have with the X11. But with this one, we've been real satisfied too. I do have to say, if you've got the extra money in your budget, at this stage, I would say go ahead and look at the X11. It's got some better ventilation on it, and it does feel a little bit lighter on your head. We're also carrying what we're going to be looking at as well. We're going to put an Undertail exhaust system on here from Hotbox. Basically, we're going to put a new Undertail section on there. It's going to have some built-in LED lighting, and uh, then the exhaust is actually going to be inside the bodywork. So we're looking real forward to getting some more performance out of the bike, a little better noise, and get that exhaust up out of the way. On that long road trip we took, if you remember from the article, we uh, burned our boot on the back of the exhaust there, trying to stretch out and hold our back feet, you know, feet on the back pegs there. So uh, hopefully getting that exhaust out of the way is going to just make things a little cleaner for us, and especially on track days and stuff. It's nice to have a bike that sounds like the rest of the bikes on the track. Speaking of track days, we've taken these tires here from Avon, the AV45 and 46, the Sport Touring tires, and we put these tires through the test. We've got 8,000 miles on these tires on the R1. That's with wheelies, high performance riding, two track days so far, and that ride through Tucson down Highway 191, that was the tire we had on there at that time. We had a big rainstorm down there, the tires held great, and we were actually able in the drier spots to drag our knee through the National Forest. It was really have a good time. So, we got some other tires from Avon we've tested, and that would be the SPs. Those are the sport tires. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get 8,000 miles out of those, but when I took those to the track, boy, was I impressed. Triangulated carcass design allowed for a better contact patch when you're in the corner. The tire's kind of designed like a V, so when you're upright, the bike feels kind of twitchy. So a steering stabilizer and stuff like that might make you feel more confident. But the triangulated tread pattern when you lean over puts that rubber right on the road. And, uh, man, the confidence we got on those tires was amazing. Uh, we've got some new tires coming from Bridgestone. We're looking forward to doing maybe a head-to-head -head against the uh, Avon tires that we've tested since that's all fresh in our minds. But right now we're getting ready for the AMA weekend at Pikes Peak International Raceway. We're taking the XR50s with us. We're taking the pit bike with us, the little uh, pocket bike. And we're going to let some guys have some fun while we're down there during the breaks.